Welcome to Exo Magic Trick number 637. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Exo Magic Trick 336 to 339. In this trick here, we want to see how to have financial statements. I just made some little teeny ones here, profit and loss balance statement, uh, statement of cash flows. And we just want to drop down, so we select whichever one of those, and it will display the appropriate chart. Now, I just made a little simple chart. Yours could be super fancy here. But this is looking up a chart. Now I've done another video called, uh, Mr. Excel and I did a video called Look Up Picture and we're going to use the ideas from that video uh, for this one right here. Now the first thing is let's just make a simple chart. Uh, the first one should compare total revenue and net income so I'm using my control keyboard shortcut to highlight areas not next to each other and I'm going to use Alt F1 that's the default that's the keyboard shortcut for the default chart. I'm going to delete that. So that's chart number one. Again, you can make this however however elaborate you want. Uh, the next one was to compare total assets and total liabilities. Those two, just highlight them. Control, I'm sorry, Alt F1. I hope I didn't say Control F1. It's Alt F1. Make this little chart here and delete that. Make them whatever size you want there. Uh, and then the finally, with this one, the final report needed to compare revenue, I'm sorry, net income and cash flow from operations. So I'm highlighting these two non contiguous ranges using the control key, Alt F1, and then uh, whatever chart. Let's see. So I have my little charts here. Now, if we're going to do a uh, lookup, we're going to um, have to put these over uh, in a different location. You have to pre-make them. I'm going to control X. And then we have to have some cells. I'm going to control V. And the cells have to be, wherever you put these charts, the cells actually have to be bigger than the chart. So you can make these. Whoops, Control Z. The problem there is when I, uh, I'm going to move these again. I'm using my Control key to highlight and click on each one. I'm going to drag these down here first. Make this a little bit bigger because when I sized those cells, the charts were being sized also. All right, now let's see if I can get these up here. Control X, Control V. And now I'm going to size these. And the way I'm going to size them is I'm going to uh, drag it right up to the corner there. And I'm going to hold my Alt key, my Alt key. And when you highlight your Alt key while moving the chart, it wants to drag it right up to the edge. Let's see, I'm not being able to do that like that. And I'm going to hold, again, I'm going to click and drag holding my Alt key. And I'm going to try and fit it right into this cell. All right, so it's just, oh, well, yeah, there it is. And try and do something similar to this one. Holding the Alt key, there it is. And then holding the Alt key again. All right, so I'm trying to fit them into the cell. Because we're going to use a, a named formula. Let's see, holding Alt. There we go, got that one. And then holding Alt again, click and drag. There we go. So we have these sitting there. Now we need a name. This this cell right here where this chart is is going to be named Rev. Actually, how about just Rev and uh, Net Income. Uh, total Assets with underscore Total uh, Liabilities. This will be the name of these chart, these cells. Now the way I'm going to name these cells is I'm going to highlight. Notice there's Word, Word, Word and some cells. These cells just happen to have charts. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift F3. That is create names from selection. Control Shift F3. Left column, click OK. Now, if I use my name box, I see if I select that, it's selecting that one. It's selecting that one. And finally, this one, selecting that one. Now, we're going to have to do a named formula. Or actually, let's come over here. We'll do data validation because we want to drop down Alt. DL, Alt DL. We want to allow a list. We want the source to be 
just these three names here. Click OK. So I'm going to select this. Now I would like a named formula. Um, and right now this is sitting in a cell and it is text. But guess what? There's also a defined name. So this is text. This is a defined name. How do you get text back to a, in a cell that's actually considered text? Excel sees it as a word. Back to a defined name. You use the indirect function. So we want to do a named formula. And I'm going to Control F3. Control F3. That opens up the name manager. And I'm going to say new. And I'm going to call this something like um, picture formula. And I'm going to come down here. Oh, um, it's already got the cell because I was selecting it. So right now, if I this formula would think it's text, but we can use the indirect. The indirect function takes text and converts it back to a reference. So that will work just right there. I'm going to click OK. Now remember that define that text, which is now a defined name, is defining a cell. So I'm going to click the co collapse button to check it. And sure enough, that's working right there. I'm going to click close. If I change this and I control F3, I'm going to test it again. Picture formula, there it is right there. I'm going to click co the collapse button and it better get it is, it's working. Now the only last part of this is we need a picture. Now notice these are charts. If I go and change any of this data to 900, my chart actually updates. But we can't use the charts like we did in that other video. We actually need to put a picture here, put the formula in it, and then automatically that picture will always take the form of those charts. Now I'm going to just going to take one of these charts. Oh yeah, I can't see. Now watch this. I'm going to click on the edge, Control C, and then I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to go up to Paste Special. How about a picture? Actually, there's a great new keyboard shortcut in 2010, Control C. Right click key. This is my favorite new 2010 thing. And then from there, if you know that that's a U, you just hit the U key. So let me do that again. It's just awesome. Control C, right click U. All right. Now, I'm going to make this bigger because we want this nice and big. Now we need to do a formula. So I come with the picture selected. I come up here and um, equals. And then let's see if the F key, the F3 key doesn't work. So I'm going to have to remember how to spell it. Uh, that's OK. It'll help me out here. Picture formula and then Enter. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Now if I select this different chart, there it is. We have, um, we're looking up a chart from a data validation drop down. I can move this down a little bit here. So there you go. Um, oh, but now we got to see if the uh, data changes here. I'm going to type uh, 500, right? The And look at that. It changes just like that. So even though it's a picture and it's linked, um, it this picture is linked to those charts up there. And those charts are linked to the cells. Let's try one more. Um, cash flow from operation. Uh, let's change it to uh, 200. Right, and so if I change this to the cash flow run, we can see, sure enough, 200 and net income uh, 100. How do you get cash flow from operations when netting? Oh, yeah, accrual accounting. That's the difference. All right, we'll see you next trick.